Hey everyone, Ronnie Chavez here, and today we're going to be learning the B-Twist Swing Through Cork. And I wanted to thank my Patreon supporter, Liam Lindner, for suggesting this idea, kind of a combination of corks and B-Twist, so I figured I'd start out with this one because it sounds like a cool tutorial to do. So if you want to request future tutorials, go check out my Patreon page. But otherwise, let's just jump into it. All right, now before attempting this combination, you're going to want to make sure you have a solid B-Twist down and a solid cork. Those are going to be extremely important, I guess because that's exactly what you're doing. But you're going to want, especially with your B-Twist, you want to be able to, when you B-Twist, be able to land with your chest upright because that's what's going to allow you to set into your cork. So make sure you've mastered your B-Twist before you start attempting to throw it into a cork. So now we're going to talk about the technique of what you want to be doing during your B-Twist and the landing of your B-Twist to successfully get a cork out of it. So after you've done your basic B-Twist technique, you dip with your chest, you then rise, you want to make sure you get a really good lift with your chest, you then also want to make sure you get a really nice hard kick, because it's that kick flipping you around, whipping your B-Twist flip that's going to give you the momentum to actually get into the court. And as you're twisting, you want to make sure that you're able to kick your jumping leg all the way around and land with it straight. You don't want to have to tuck your knees in to get the B-Twist around. You want to be able to do a B-Twist where your legs are able to stay straight all the way through because on your landing, that's also where you're going to get a lot of the power to go into the court is with the setup from your kicking leg and your jumping leg. And if they're bent at all, when you come around for that landing, you're just not going to have a good setup going into the court. Now as you come around for the landing on the B-Twist, you want to make sure you land on the right angle because you're going to have momentum going backwards and flipping momentum. So ideally, you want to land with your chest slightly forward, your legs straight, so that your momentum is going to naturally push you up. And it's not going to take effort to get from here to there because of that momentum. And that allows you to block a little bit. If you land straight up and down, then by the time you jump into the cork, you might be leaning back too far because of your momentum and you'll fly backwards and not get the height and block you need off that landing. So when landing that B-twist, you want to make sure that your chest is just slightly forward, but immediately on landing, you're coming to straight up. And then it's that motion from that straight up motion with your chest, it's basically the timing of when you jump and take off from the ground. At the same time, the lift of your chest is happening, you're going to be kicking that leg through. So on the landing of the B-twist, I'm landing on this leg, and I'm landing with my arms back and my kicking leg back, so that right as I land, as my chest comes up, my leg is basically moving like a lever at the same time as my chest. And then as I leave the ground, I'm going to keep driving that kicking leg for just a second and then wrap it into the cork right after I leave the ground. From there, you're just applying your basic cork technique. It's important that you get the timing and the angle right here because if you don't, if you're leaning too far forward and jump too early, you're going to do a gainer and lose a lot of your momentum. If you over rotate too much and go too late, you'll end up flying backwards and once again not getting the height you need. So there's this nice little balance where you just land perfectly and you'll be able to feel it. You can practice landing the B-twist and then just popping out of it with a little jump 360 to see if you're there. If you feel like you're really popping out of it, like when you do a J-step cork, it should feel pretty similar to that, just that cheat setup. So there you have it. There's some tips on how to do the B-twist swing through cork. Now once again, I didn't go in depth on how to do the B-twist and cork in this video because ideally you should already have them mastered by now, at least down really comfortably. So if you haven't learned those yet, I'll include links in the description where you can check out a tutorial on the B-twist as well as the cork. And once again, you can check out my shirts. I'll have a link in the description. As well as if you want to request future tutorials, check out my Patreon page. That's all I got for you guys today. So thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you next time.